the most difficult thing about starting microdosing magic mushrooms. We're going to talk about that right now. Hey, welcome back to Microdose You. I am Dr. Dave. Uh, we're in the middle of traveling around the United States of America in our little psychedelic van here. We're having a blast. As, as you probably know, my wife and I live in Salt Lake City, Utah, but we came east. We're visiting as friends and family along the way, but mainly on the east coast. And that's where I am right now on the east coast. So if you're around, let me know. We can potentially visit. Okay, let me know. So anyway, let's get back into the subject at hand. The most um, difficult thing, the biggest obstacle for people that want to start microdosing. And no, it's not the obvious. It's not what you think. It's not because it's difficult to find the medicine. Finding the medicine, um, even if you have zero experience and know nothing about this whole community, um, it's not difficult at all. It's, you know, even you got to be like a little creative. That might be the word, but it's it's so easy to figure out. And, and we're not talking about that on this show today. Except, um, do not. And I've said this a million times, but I just want to. This goes. It bears repeating. Um, do not buy ever medicine from somebody on Instagram or online that you do not know who they are, even if they talk really well and they sound like they know what they're doing, these scammers are good. Um, unless you have gotten a direct referral from somebody that says, yes, I know this person and they are 100% legitimate, do, I'm telling you, I'm warning you, or you will get ripped off, do not buy from somebody who has an Instagram channel or a Facebook or a YouTube or a... Um, whatever, TikTok, whatever it might be. Do not, unless you know them, please. So if it's not where to purchase or how to get your medicine, what is the biggest roadblock, the biggest reason people do not get started with microdosing magic mushrooms? Well, the biggest reason is because they find all kinds of excuses to put it off. Um, I talk to so many people, you know, doing this channel, it's not the largest channel in the world. In fact, it's, it's by comparison purposes, it's probably quite small. But I talk to people almost every single day that have questions. How do I do this? What if this? What if I become anxious? What if I take too little? What if I take too much? What if this happens? You know, and, and what they're doing is they're not addressing the problem. There's a reason that people think about or want to begin microdosing. And it's generally because you've got some type of trauma or some type of anxiety or depression or PTSD or uh, eating disorder or addiction or stuttering or or maybe you're on the spectrum and you've heard that could possibly help you. There, there are like a million reasons to begin microdosing, but, but so many people come up with reasons to put it off or not to do it or to ask another question before they do it. I mean, what is it that you're waiting for? Uh, apparently, you don't really want to fix yourself. If Now, I'm talking to you only if you're in that category. And you know if you are or not. I've spoken to so many of you. I've spoken to people that I help them out. And then like three months later, they ask me a question. They ask me several questions. And then they, three months later, they get back to me and say they're still thinking about starting. And my answer is like, what's going on with you? It, listen. It's a plant. It's a mushroom. It's not like you're, it's, it's not, this is not rocket science. It's not an exact science. It's easy. There's really not a lot to this. And also you're micro dosing. You're taking a small, small percentage of a dose that people would take to feel psychedelic effects. You're taking generally 10% of that, a tenth of that. It's tiny. It's minuscule. It's not going to, harm you. Now, again, I'm saying that, but I always have to qualify that my show here is not medical advice. Even though I am a doctor, I am a retired dentist, and I'm not sharing medical advice with you. I'm sharing my personal experience, what it's done to me, how I got started. And, and how I got started was I heard about it. I read up. I watched some videos. I talked to some people and wham. But by the time I started thinking about it, and by the time, from the time I started thinking about it to the time I started microdosing, it was probably a week or so. And that's only because it took time to find out and how to get my medicine. But I probably would have started the same day. Um, but some people that just keep coming up with excuses and reasons and 
and I, I don't really understand it, except for the fact that somebody that puts it off and puts it off and puts it off, probably on some level is not ready, is not ready to change. Maybe they're concerned about like, if I change and if I don't have my depression anymore or I'm calm every day, what will my, what will my life be like? And my answer to you would be, well, your life would be, in medical terms, your life would be fucking awesome. I mean, can you imagine waking up every single day and you've got no anxiety, you've got your depression is either gone or it's so minimal you don't even detect it. Um, if you had um, some type of an addiction or habituation or habit or something like that's that ended, that's gone, like... Wouldn't you, wouldn't you welcome that life? I mean, that's, so that's what I don't understand. Once you know this is available and you've, you've taken the steps to either join, uh, chat groups or watch videos or read books or whatever, once you've taken that step and then you still have come up with excuses why you're not ready to start, that tells me that you're not ready. And I'm not shaming somebody for being not ready. Not This is not for everybody. I just spoke to somebody a short time ago, like literally within the past 24 hours, a friend of mine, a friend of mine. And he was I could tell he was asking me questions about, well, how do you get this? Does your doctor prescribe it? And I said, no, you're, the doctor can't prescribe this. This is not, in most places, this is not illegal. And it's a schedule one substance. You can't, it's, it's, you can't write a prescription for this. So you have to be creative and find out where to get it outside of being like in a doctor's office or a doctor's visit. Um, but he was asking me some, some very curious questions, but I never said to him, Hey, are you thinking about doing this? Do you want to do it? Are you, but no, because, because I've come to the realization and my friend Tripp has helped me with this quite a bit that, that if somebody's ready, they will find a way to ask you questions and to get started. But if somebody's not ready, don't, you don't have to, there's nothing to sell. There's nothing, I don't have to like talk anybody into this lifestyle or into this medicine because if, if you're not ready, you're not ready and that's okay. Again, no shaming at all. It's totally fine. And that goes with anything in life. If you're trying to, if let's say you work in some aspect of sales or you're doing something, you're trying to help somebody in your family and you don't have to talk people into anything. If, if, they know what you're doing or like what you're selling or how you've changed your life. And if they're super interested in that, they will approach you and ask you enough questions and you, they will either want to do it or not want to do it, but they will approach you. You don't, you don't, I, I, these days I don't, it doesn't matter to me whether other people do this or not. Again, I share my life experience and how it totally changed everything. But but not again, it's not for everybody. Not everybody's ready. And and people are still my friends if they've asked me a few questions and, and they decide not to do it. That that's that has nothing to do with like me liking somebody or respecting or being friends with them. But my point in this show today is that some people it seems like they really want to start and they ask a million questions and they get into this whole into the chat groups and everything, but then they never do anything. And that's the person I'm targeting in this episode today. It's like, if that's you, today is the day you're going to stop putting this off. You're going to stop asking the questions that you've asked a million times. You're just going to say, Hey, I'm taking a very small, it's a microdose. I'm going to try it. Um, I, I feel it's going to work. It's not going to make me anxious. It's not going to make me sick. It's not going to do this. It's not going to do that. It's a microdose. So again, that's what I want to share. Um, I really, really appreciate every single one of you. If you have questions, comment below, let me know, you send me an email. Um, I try my best, although when I'm traveling now, the caveat is it's a little bit more difficult for me to answer and respond to everyone out there because I'm traveling and we're um, either visiting friends and family or we're on the road actually driving. So it's my time becomes less and less and less to be able to do that. But I do appreciate every single one of you. I love you. I really do. Without you, I wouldn't have a channel because like I've said before, I'm not doing this for a financial payout. Um, if I did, I'd be starving and that's okay. I'm doing this. I don't need the money for this, for a channel or for a podcast or anything. I'm doing this because this medicine has changed my life. 
Um, I no longer wake up with anxiety, with depression, with anything else. I, I, I feel really, really good every day. And I've also learned um, how to become um, awakened. And my buddy Trip has helped me quite a bit with that. And it, it's, 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 a, it's a total game changer. Things don't bother me now. Things like if somebody says something or does something or, or uh, does something that in the past would have been hurtful to me, I look at it totally, totally different. It, it really, really is a ab an absolute game changer. When you live your life and you kind of understand more about, hey, what, what's this life about? As opposed to just going through emotions every day and doing what other people are doing. It's, oh man, it's, it's really, really wonderful. And um, again, so I thank you for joining me here. It's my life story, not medical advice. Uh, take it as you will. And um, get going if, if, if it's in the cards for you. That's all I have to say. Love you. I'll talk to you soon. If you haven't followed me yet, make sure you click that follow button or however you do it. Because I want, I want you to see more of what I have to offer here. Talk to you soon. I'm Dr. Dave. Microdose you.